Hello everyone, my name is Waldo Richards from The Game Train and uh, I have here a game that I have never seen or heard of before and uh, this is going to be pretty much a blind run because sure, why not? I um, <laughs> Hi, I'm Dash. I bugged him for, I want to say a good month to play this game as it was one of my absolute favorites from my childhood. In fact, I still have it on my bookshelf right now. I really want to pop it in and play it alongside, but I have a feeling I'd be shit. There's only normal and easy? Well, okay. I don't think that... I don't think there was a third option. I think maybe you have to um, beat the game on normal to unlock hard, maybe. Because a lot of games back in the day did that. Beating it on the hardest difficulty to unlock a harder difficulty. I gotta say, it's kind of odd that load game is the first option. Yeah, I, I never really understood that either. It's kind of backwards. So, wait, what was this called again? <laughs> the ty Taifu Wrath of the Tiger. Yes, Taifu. Well, let's hope it's not gonna turn into Taifu Wrath of the Shit. I liked it, a lot of people don't. <laughs> what the fuck am I <laughs> Intimidating, twirling, snake. Why is the King Cobra twirling a stick? Hey, what the hell? Kung Fu Panda, get out of here. This is the wrong game, Kung Fu Panda. Get out of here. We're gonna get sued out the ass. Yeah, like I said, I firmly believe this is where DreamWorks got the idea. Oh shit, they killed him! <laughs> they killed him! <laughs> Well, I, I didn't even get to play the fucking game and I'm already dead. I can see why people don't like this game. <laughs> uh, you know a game is gonna be good when your main character gets the shit beaten out of him in five minutes. Oh wait, is that the same panda or is it just somebody else? I was never able to figure that out either. I should probably try to listen to the plot, but I I can't seem to give a shit. <laughs> Dragon King and his servants killed a bunch of pandas, and now the adopted tiger son, who is supposed to be the last of his clan, is going to go save China. Not sure how to feel about it, considering Chinese people usually kill tigers instead. <laughs> oh. You know, I gotta say, his head and neck are fucking weird. He looks more like a, like, some kind of a... Yeah, yeah, yeah. like a tiger-wiper hybrid. It's fucking weird. Well, he gets to use all the different styles, so maybe that's... Helping him use viper style? I don't fucking know. I do know that crane style is OP. I'm gonna but you don't spit... Unlock uh, near the end. I'm gonna spit tiger acid into you. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell kind of attack is this? From here it looks Long. like... From here it's like, hey come over here, come over here. <laughs> it's like an, an Italian guy trying to pick up chicks. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, what the shit. Don't slip oh, God, off. the frame rate just went to ours. <laughs> yeah, it seems kind of normal for these kind of games. I'm not sure what exactly is the issue. More, oh, I think it's the Skype screen share went to ours. Well, it could be a lot of reasons. I mean, they're using emulators, so for all we know, it could be just the emulator fucking up. Because I, I mean, I'm using EPSXC. Why do you have to get the coins though? Was there an upgrade system in this game that I forgot about? Oh shit! But yeah, <laughs> my super guy doesn't this... know what the fuck's going on. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is an attack. Basically, the game is. Yeah, the game kind of uses. It's like. It has that, like, PS1 era thing of how it had, like, fighting, it had platforming, it has adventure, it has fantasy, so it was like a mix of a bunch of different things. What the fuck kind of move is <laughs> <laughs> It's the Africa Daniel way of defending yourself, just shoving them out of the way. Move, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> move, bitch. Get out the way. I guess this is a block. Yes. And that is... I uh, can't remember. I think it's something to do with your chi. Oh, great. <laughs> well, I hope they have tooltips. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. That's a huge krona. <laughs> it's kind of...
can't wait to see Danish Kronos in this game. <laughs> <laughs> They're Chinese luck symbols. I should know, I had some on my um, McKee ring for years because a friend of mine gave them to me. They look remarkably like Danish Kroners. Yeah. You got 15 of Jade. Oh, I thought I got 15 no kills. <laughs> I was gonna say, ah, oh, we didn't kill anything. Oh, this game is generous. I still don't. I still don't know why. I get why that is a thing, but teaches one we're fighting. I mean, it makes no sense to put that there. It's right. over in like two minutes. It's very strange. Well, that was a level. <laughs> and now, time to actually do things. So far, I'm not sure how to feel about this. I feel like I've stepped into some kind of a forgotten land of... Okay. <laughs> I, I loved this game to bits when I was a kid. Press triangle to finish off combos. Now. Okay. Ooh, try it. What does it do? Well, right now he just... No, you've got to do a combo first. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Fuck maybe, it. maybe I need it's to. One of those games where you have to actually hit something. Yeah, maybe I need to beat the shit like out of something. Snake. Oh damn! Damn! Fucking kill everything! <laughs> fucking smash the shit out of this! Here we go. Got one kill. First blood. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get in that. What the fuck was that? That's that was a weird texture random. pop in. <laughs> right, you gotta go in that cave. By the way. This might be the best way to move around, actually. Just jumping around like an idiot. Yeah. I... Uh, don't forget to... What? Uh... Go get up the... <laughs> Damn it. I was not aware well... of this. First blood, indeed. <laughs> this is let's connect more things. There's a cave there with a hidden unlockable thing in it. You might want to... God damn. That's so destructive for a tiger. Hmm. See? Will I, I don't know what that is, though. <laughs> wow, that was hard. It's PS1 era. Hmm. What did I... it do? <laughs> By the power of Grayskull. Still... <laughs> By the power of cave cards. I have the power. I have no idea what the, ha what the hell happened. What the fuck kind of snake is that? It has arms. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lizard. <laughs> They're secretly lizards. But then again, how could they have, like, they do not have arms. I mean, they're supposed to be doing kung fu. <laughs> kind of reminds me of that one time there's somebody asked uh, Mark Zuckerberg if he's a lizard. <laughs> no. Did he refuse to comment? No, he said, I am not a lizard. <laughs> Sounds exactly like something a lizard would say. Exactly. Man, that looks like a hole you would fall into, but it's it not. It really does. It is not. If I... Are fields known for having random holes? I bet if I go here, I, I will get hurt, so I won't. <laughs> okay, suddenly ancient Chinese magic is involved. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Actually, I'm, I'm fairly sure those are actually things that occur. Like, they're effectively waystones with charms of good luck. <laughs> good luck, tiger. <laughs> <laughs> good luck, Kung Fu tiger. Try, may you constantly beat up snakes. Well, I hope I get to beat up more than just snakes. I mean, that's kind of ra you do. that's kind of racist towards <laughs> racist towards the snake clan. See, this is why Scalies hate this game. Ah, uh, I I understand oh, the hatred now. Um, do you remember the my is like what the hell Myers something or other? He got outed as like a serial harasser or predator or something like that, and his defense was basically that he was a gay furry. I can't say I've ever heard of that, but tell me more. <laughs> I, I referenced... I, I don't know anything else about him. It's just become this stupid, hilarious thing. I referenced it today when I was talking with Dad about the Kevin Spacey thing, because his defense is basically... Well, it's not really his defense, but his deflection was... I, I, Sorry if I molested this kid. I can't remember. Also, by the way, I'm gay. Yeah, then, okay. I, then I heard that but, on uh, the my news. My dad found out what a furry was, <laughs> and uh, his, his reaction was... Interesting. <laughs> I bet the reaction was... was akin to something that you should have never heard about. 
To be fair, he also learned what a bear is in gay subculture today and was honestly a lot more interested in that because a it, bear? he'd never heard. Yeah, a bear. A bear is a large, hairy, gay man. What the fuck, on? Basically, basically think of a biker as a gay guy, you'd get fairly close to what a bear would be. No wonder and people around you call them degenerates. We, we fucking act like them. <laughs> God damn it. No, no, it's just, it's a term that's been used since, like, the 80s. And keep in mind, my dad is, I think, 57. So I figured he would have heard of this term. No, he'd never heard of it before in his life. I never heard of it either. And he was, he was really curious about it, partly because I think he realized that if he was gay, he'd be a bear. <laughs> because he's a large, hairy man. <laughs> that sounds horrible. <laughs> Come on, beat him up. Just to bring it back to the game for a second, how <laughs> fun would doing the uh, voice acting for this game be trying to do all the combat sound effects? I mean, how do you give somebody the prompt, now yip like a tiny dog? <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I really want to know, actually. Might be embarrassing to a whole Some, different someone's, degree. <laughs> someone's sexual role-playing fetish got put into the game sound effects by accident. Shit. You weren't supposed to find that. Don't forget to keep using triangle to finish off combos, by the way. It really works. Like, it's really powerful. You can pick up snakes and throw them. <laughs> yep. Hmm, so this is basically that one game that allows you to punch snakes like an asshole. <laughs> I've always loved this game. It's just It had a lot of charm to it as a kid. Plus the combat was always oh, fun. Oh, shit. Oh, you is this your anything? box? Well, too bad. <laughs> well, too bad, I just broke it over something. That's not exactly how I imagined it, but whatever. It's kind of nice that they got a health bar for each enemy. Very useful. Yeah. Very useful, frankly. Because uh, there's been a lot of games that don't always have health bars for enemies, and while that's fine on some areas, when you're fighting a boss for 20 minutes, I want to fucking know when it ends. Ow. Get up. Kick his ass. <laughs> I bet you can suplex these fuckers. Very I Chinese. <laughs> I think you get cheap powers at any rate, or one of the styles is cheap powers. I don't know. There's also a snake uh, back there. I don't need him. Fuck him. I will let him live so that he can mourn his fallen friends. <laughs> Right, let's find some motherfuckers. Throw it! God damn it. <laughs> and then he just kills himself, okay. <laughs> well, at least he left you a health pickup. I'm fine with this. Defeat three for gold coin. Okay. Sounds simple enough. Not sure how to feel First, about these kind of things. Time. I'm not sure how to feel about these kind of things. Here so far it doesn't seem all that bad. But it usually ends up being bad. Where you have to like stop in a random area to beat up a, a certain amount of like enemies. I, I think it only occurs a few times. I don't know if it actually has a purpose and all I'm seeing is... There we go. Now, the Skype screen I finally caught up. Uh, I do know that in some cases it's really out of place. I think Sonic Rush oh, had yeah. this uh, kind of a... So there's a whole bunch idea. of... There's a whole bunch of games that are basically just we put you here and now you have to kill many, many things. I think that only makes sense for shoot 'em ups and fighting games. Uh and RPGs. Well maybe. Because you can RPGs. say, oh it's like they sent you know, you can say, Oh, they sent twenty six people out to kill your mother, go defend them and you have to kill twenty six people. Why don't we just go to the wall? <laughs> You gotta go through learning styles. When am I gonna learn a style? That's the better question. I think you learn a style when you defeat bosses. I remember there are a bunch of styles. I remember there's like Mantis style and Crane style and Monkey style. And monkey style is really fucking fun. Use an attack Use an to attack. jump or bounce farther. Yeah, like how you've been doing. I have? <laughs> kind of. I find it quite fascinating that not only do these snakes have arms, but they can also snore. <laughs> Look at this big fucker. Who the hell is this slug? This snake got, snake got swole. Oh, that's a snake. I thought that was a slug. 
Nope, snake got swole. Man, the level geometry. <laughs> yes, slut <in> style here. <laughs> kung fu. <laughs> the level geometry in here kind of reminds me of Evolver. I'm not sure hey, why. What? Uh, there's a game called Evolver for the PCs. It's pretty fucking cool. Oh, are you referring to um that four person versus one monster game? No, that's Evolve. Ah, ah. I thought you were, it was just a weird accent thing. Not... Evolver. Yeah, that that is the name. Basically, you play as a squad of Geno hunters, some weirdos who can genetically modify themselves on the fly, and you gotta use that to beat uh, levels, kill monsters and shit. Intriguing. It's really cool, actually, because if you kill like, uh, well, let's say, about ten of uh, space ostriches, you can evolve to be faster by using their meat. <laughs> okay. Well, you'll only get now it if just, you it, if you it, now, it just, <laughs> <laughs> now it sounds like some Australian folk tales. I think it makes more sense if you play it yourself, but it is pretty cool because you're pretty much forced to, you know. Beat, adapt. Yeah, adapt. You gotta kill stronger enemies to actually become stronger than them. Very cool, actually, because uh, you can't just don't forget to keep using triangle, by the way. Yeah, I I do that sometimes. <laughs> Yeah, but trust me when I say keep using it, it'll actually make a lot of the game quite easy. Especially bosses. I find pretty cool in Evolver that uh, whenever you find a new creature, it just takes one kill to get uh, his power, but it takes a lot of kills to perfect that power. Yeah, that's actually really cool. Ooh, okay. cloaking technology. Okay, I, didn't, I, I didn't know we were playing Crisis. <laughs> Max I didn't know stealth. either. <laughs> I don't even know why stealth was there. Like you literally didn't find anyone else. Why is this camera angle here? This is kind of weird. I have no idea. What an odd choice. <laughs> did you just see that texture pop in? The texture was already rendered. Why did it need to pop in? I didn't see it. Speaking of weird things happening, I got to witness uh, some uh, fuckery when I was playing Battle for Middle Earth for the channel. I didn't see it when oh. I was playing, but in the first mission when I was editing, I noticed that one of the cave trolls decided not to do the walking animation while walking. <laughs> oh fuck! Look at that guy! <laughs> oh, that guy's Boris. really got the troll. <laughs> it's Buff Boris. It is the swole snake. More like bitch borders. Get the fuck well, out never of mind. here. <laughs> I guess they wanted me to take this and kill him with it, but fuck that. I still don't know what it does. I think it just makes it. There was invisible. a one-up over there, by the way. Oh, there was? Where? Yeah. Uh, jump off this ledge oh. here, down there. I don't think these trees belong in China. <laughs> no, they do. I've seen them in a lot of various... Uh... It's weird. I, I animation films at any rate. I recall them being in, only in Greece. I, I remember them being in Africa. Oh, They're one. effectively large, bulbous. I don't know. Maybe there's, there's a shit ton of trees around the world that look the exact fucking same. So this is a very uh, don't weird. Don't let yourself bridge. get the shit. <laughs> it is. It's much differently rendered than the rest of the scenery. Like it's made out of marble or something. That's kind of random. <laughs> That's. Very strange. Typhu, what the hell? The intricate deep lore of Typhu. The deep lore, the deep intricacies and the psychological meaning of the different bridge. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting an architectural lore now, you know shit's gonna be good. Next week- oh, I actually hit somebody <laughs> with that. And he teleported down there. Ah, fuck him. <laughs> this was my trap. Hey, get down Did here, that? asshole! It kind of looks like they sometimes heal up a little bit. Yeah, it's very strange. Hello, I love that they pick the ground shake. It's like we are big bad. You get defeated in five seconds. Well, shit. And then he brought in the foreign object. <laughs> this is not <laughs> fucking wrestling. Without the wrestling, of course. I wonder if I can grab it. I think there's something bit. off. Oh dear. 
I actually did grab it. I think it. there's something off to your right. There was a ledge over there that I could, that I saw. Yeah, here's a ledge. Fuck him. <laughs> Fucking threw Perfect. him out. <laughs> and he throws the stake out of the ring. <laughs> A yeah, nice loading screen, I guess, but there's a loading bar. There's a loading bar? I didn't see it on my screen. I didn't see it. There's just a black bar at the bottom. I didn't see it either. So, uh, I'm guessing the jades are just collectible um, things for the I sake of collecting. I have absolutely no idea. Tai Fu Wrath of the Tiger. Kind of feels like the I same. I look it uh, up. It kind of feels like the the same collectible nachos from uh, Turok 2. Yeah, no Here it is. Dragon Clan, Snake Clan, Boar Clan, Rat Clan, Panda Clan, Mantis Clan, Leopard Clan, Monkey Clan. There's a lot of... They're all based around clan-eating plants. What? <laughs> okay. Here it is. There's Tiger Style, Mantis Style, Leopard Style, Monkey Style, Crane Style, and Chi Powers. 